Jenna and Jeremy. In August 2020, we bought an RV. In September 2020, we sold everything and hit the road full time. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. First on the list, Palisade State Park. On either side of Split Rock Creek stand unique quartzite rock features, some over 50 feet tall, that have been formed over millions of years. It's estimated by geologists that some of these spires have been around for 1.2 bu- bu- billion years now. This is an excellent place to hike, camp, climb, rappel, fish, kayak, canoe, and much more. Number two, the Notch Trail in Badlands National Park. Jeremy, you did not tell me that there were ladders to climb on this hike. The Notch Trail is a short 1.3 mile out and back trail with about 130 feet of climbing and a nice overview at the end. Number three, the Ben Rifle Visitor Center, located here in the Badlands. Here, we learned from a park ranger that the bison in the Badlands are about two to three hundred pounds larger than those found in Yellowstone due to the lack of predators here. We also learned that during the age of the dinosaurs, a warm and shallow sea covered this area, and because dinosaurs lived on land, no fossils have been found in the park. Number four, and the last spot in the Badlands, Roberts Prairie Dog Town. We spent a good chunk of a day here watching the prairie dogs, greeting the occasional bison, and enjoying a nice sunset. Catching a beautiful sunset here in Badlands National Park, South Dakota. Ready? Boom! Look at those. And we got quite the show going on over here. There's our house. This guy is,、uh, I don't know, itching himself, stroking himself. I don't know what to make of it. Licking his lips, drooling. Having a good night. Number five, the Wildlife Loop Road in Custer State Park. This place is full of life, and we loved it. We enjoyed it so much that the next day we actually contemplated coming back to drive the same two-hour loop again. Just south of Custer State Park is Wind Cave National Park. Unfortunately, the cave was closed, and we cannot speak from experience. But here's a few images from the National Park website to give you an idea of what it looks like. Maybe next time. Further north into the Black Hills, we have Number Seven Sylvan Lake, also in Custer State Park. Sylvan Lake was nice enough to come back a second and a third time. We enjoyed a leisurely float on the water, watching some rock climbers and hiking around. I almost decided not to fly the drone here simply due to the smoky skies, but I'm sure glad I flew anyway. From the parking lot here at Sylvan Lake, we have our number eight, the Little Devil's Tower Spur Trail. This trail is 3.6 miles with 751 feet of elevation gain. The rock scrambling towards the end, the 360-degree views, and seeing the cathedral spires and Black Elk Peak from up here made this trail totally worthwhile. If it had been open, I probably would have hiked up to Black Elk Peak. It's twice the hike, but it's also the highest point in South Dakota, and the lookout tower at the top looks like it'd be fun to make it up to. Number nine, Mount Rushmore National Memorial. What an impressive sculpture! It took 14 years to create, and 90% of it was carved with dynamite. We enjoyed a nice hike around and learned about each of the prominent four figures portrayed on the mountainside. Before visiting Mount Rushmore, we were not fully aware of the controversy that exists here. It was built on land that the Sioux tribes actually still claim ownership to. The faces are a very prominent man in U.S. history, but ones that many Native Americans don't think favorably about. That said, we have our number ten, Crazy Horse Memorial. Apparently, this is the world's largest mountain carving, and it depicts Oglala Lakota warrior Crazy Horse riding a horse and pointing to his tribal land. I won't go into further detail here about these controversial sculptures, but I will say that our visit definitely sparked more interest into the complex story of America. Number eleven, Big Thunder Gold Mine, which was discovered in 1892 by two German immigrant miners, W. B. Krupp and J. A. Engel. We had the opportunity to tour the mine that these two spent huge chunks of their life in, trying to strike it rich and ultimately failing. 
After walking hundreds of feet into the mine, our tour guide turned off the lights and we experienced total darkness. He then lit a candle to simulate the amount of light that these men worked with. That said, I'm not very envious of the lives these men lived, but how interesting to learn about what drove people in these times. Number 12, Deadwood, South Dakota. We didn't film much here, but what a cool Wild West town. We checked out their visitor center, biked around town, and enjoyed some sweet treats. A few miles up the mountain from Deadwood, we have our lucky number 13, the Mount Roosevelt Friendship Tower. This monument was created by Seth Bullock in memory of the friendship he had with President Theodore Roosevelt. It's a short hike up to the tower and you're treated with great views of the Black Hills. There's also some excellent free camping spots along the road up here. I sure hope I'm a good enough friend to someone that they create a monument to honor our friendship. Last on the list, number 14, Devil's Bathtub Trail in Spearfish Canyon. This hike was a little over a mile and had approximately one gazillion creek crossings, which made it fun and exciting. As you get deeper in, the trail opens up into more of a canyon with some huge rock walls, big boulders, and a freezing cold bathtub of crystal clear water. That concludes our top 14 best places to visit in South Dakota. We spent about two weeks here in our RV and easily could have explored much longer. I know we left plenty of great places out, so feel free to add to this list in the comments. With that, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and of course press that subscribe button for more weekly travel videos. See ya!